Well, if you think buying a home can be frustrating, try finding one to rent. So what should potential tenants know before they sign the lease? Here to answer that question is Wink's real estate expert, Denny Grimes, from Denny Grimes & Company at Royal Shell Real Estate. Denny, thank you as always for being here today. My pleasure, Jen. A lot of people are forced with this dilemma. They can't afford a home, and so they're entering into that rental market. But it's a very dangerous one in this area. And there's some pitfalls, and I really feel sorry for the folks that are um, uh, empathetic for them stepping into the rental market because there, uh, there is really no single point of contact for them. And the reason for that is, and it's quite simple, when you look at the contrast for them wanting to buy, the best, the most efficient thing for them to do is contact a real estate agent because it's free to them. That one real estate agent has access to virtually everything for sale. They'll hop them in their car, they'll go around and look at stuff, and they'll show them their own listings as well as the other listings. The reason they do that is they have the information via MLS, and they get paid to do it. There's compensation to do that. Sure. But on the rental side, there is no really comprehensive database. So if an, somebody comes into our office and, or to a, a property management office, they, they have access to their rentals, and there is a little information on the MLS, but it's not comprehensive. So if we don't have information, we can't share it. But the big issue is, and this is where the rubber meets the road, is that there is no compensation for someone to basically show someone else's property. So they may make a couple hundred bucks. So that leaves the tenants on their own, basically, doing a lot of the research and legwork. Which leads you sometimes to make a poor or a snap decision. Yeah, you know, I worry about them because many times a tenant will make a bad decision because they are so frustrated with the process. They'll just make a, a snap decision or they won't ask all the questions they need to ask, like what are the rental restrictions, what school zone is it in, and have they even checked to find out if the owner is current on the maintenance fees mm -hmm. or making the mortgage payments. Right. Is it in foreclosure, for example? Which should be which should be one of the first things if they step into an individual property as a, as opposed to an apartment mm -hmm. complex. They should check with a uh, Lee County Clerk of Courts. Now we have I've heard of the horror stories of tenants moving into a home and they may be current on the mortgage, but they're not paying the association fees, uh, and yeah. so they don't have access to the pool and and sometimes the gate won't even let them in. So. Uh, it is an inefficient process, but there are some tips. Number one, I mean, understand that they're going to have to do some legwork, so they should get some comfortable shoes on, <laughs> and, and they should become familiar with Craigslist, because quite honestly, that's one of the best sources. If somebody comes to me, mm -hmm. uh, my sister came into town, I said, look, let's get on Craigslist, because it seems to be the most comprehensive source of information. Interesting. And then ask the right questions. And the most important one is, is the owner, if it's an individual property, is the owner, owner current on their mortgage? And are they paying their association dues? Is it safer to go with a condo or an apartment versus a single family home? It is safer because generally, if they walk into an apartment complex, they generally have on site representation. Mm -hmm. That person knows the ins and outs, all the answers, and it's, there's not individual unit owners there, so the potential for closure isn't very strong. But you don't have the same luxuries like maybe your own private pool, your fence yard for the pooch, that type yeah, of thing. Right, so there right. are some trade offs, but it is safer, there is less risk. All right, Denny, thank you very much. The renters proceed with caution. If you have any questions that you would like to ask Denny, you can email us or give him a call. Uh, his email website is dennygrimes.com. We'll also set a link up on our website. We'll be right back with a check of your weather and traffic.